Mm -hmm. Hey guys, back at her again. <clears throat> it's been a couple of weeks since the last video. I've been really busy, back to school, all that stuff. Um, I just picked up a new spring for the front, because uh, the one I had didn't fit. So I'm about to assemble that. I get some parts from Speedway this week. Okay, the first step I'm going to have to do is even up these wishbones. Now, it was already cut when I got it, so it's... I can't just use the... I don't have a stock one. So I do have a kit to put the bung in here and put the tie rod to make the split wishbones. Cool. First thing is, both of these are cut crooked, and they're not cut the same length. So I'm going to first... Get the shortest one squared up, and then make the longer one match the shorter one. And then we'll weld in the bungs on here. Install these on the axle, because that's your spring mount as well. So right now I'm going to mark this out to make sure it's perfectly square. Cut it off, cut the second one, and be right back. Okay, I used the piece of masking tape to square up the end so we have a line that's square I can cut to. There we go. Nice square end on that now. And now the other one I did shove the bung in, and it did go in there. I don't know if it, how important is it to have these exactly the same length. It bugged me that they're not the same. So, I'm going to grab some tape. I don't know if you guys can even see where I am. I stepped out of the frame. Okay. So, and this still isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn close. So what I'm going to do is line that tape right up at the top of that one. Let's get back here. Bring it down. And if this lines up, which it does, it's square. So if I cut that, it should be a nice square cut. It'll be the same length. Uh, now they should be exactly the same length. Let's see. Within a sixteenth, which is close enough. Okay, now I'm going to weld these up. Okay, I got those welded up. Major thing is now I've got what I want. Now I'm going to flip this axle around so I have room here out behind me for where these are going to stick. Okay, I got those set in place. Hopefully this doesn't make everything too high the way using the spring I had on the rear was going to do. Which I haven't shown you guys yet. Okay. Tapered at the bottom to match the taper here. It's going to be stubborn. Get this one started as well. Now these come just a flat nut on the bottom of them, but I also bought the tapered nut castle nut for the bottom to match how that's tapered on the bottom of the axle as well. Now 
Okay, the problem I'm running into is I'm go through there. almost. I might have to get a ring, just open that hole up just a touch. I can't quite get it there. Oh, coming from this way, I can get it. Must be just a little burr at the top of that. Hey, look at that. And on this side, it's fine. There we go, we can get this thing. Now like I said, they, those came with square ones. They also came with the castle nuts that are coned at the end, because that is going up into that hole. This works the way I'm hoping it does. I'll be able to cut these spring marks off. And this will be fine. If I didn't, if I had to use these spring mounts, well then these would be angled in again and I'd have to cut, make a pie cut at the side to get it to line up with the frame when it's under there. But that's down the road a little bit. Not too far, hopefully. Yeah. So I've got my hand tight. Now. And you can see these aren't tight. There we go. Hey, Molly. some grease. Now, 
started. started. So tomorrow I'll bring in the frame. So, still lots of light looking this way. Looks a lot brighter on this camera than it does on uh, in here. So I got that all bolted on last night. <clears throat> Everything's snugged up. Uh, next step is put it, put the frame on it, uh, or do we put this in the frame? So first. I'm going to set this down off of these jack stands. <clears throat> so this should sit flat, roughly. Closer to flat than it was, anyway. All I did is I took the file, just clearance that hole a little bit, fits fine now. I think what might have happened is when I fixed the cracks in this originally, I may have welded this up a little bit 
too small. So. Fits now. The spacers for the bottom, I drilled them out so they fit over the bolt. For the, uh, for the nut, I should say, for the center bolt. And I think I'm going to have to use both of those because this is going to suck up some. Yeah. Um, try it and see what happens. Okay, goes there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. One of those I don't think would be quite enough. It'd still be uh, up in here and where this plate is flat. Maybe it's just to shove that all the way up in the hole. Should still have lots of room. This is holding everything together. Okay, let's get some nuts started. Yaga Duggas. And the front spring is in. Let's see now if that came up. Why we needed the spacer. That plate is oh within about a sixteenth of the bottom here, so it is pushing on those spacers, which means that spring is shoved up in there really tight. That's in. Um I still haven't got the wheel spacers to put uh, the new wheels on here. So maybe I'll just stick those with no tires on them, stick those wheels on it just to have it up off the ground. And if I want to roll it forward or backwards, I can on the wheels. And there it is. For the first time in who knows, probably 50 years, this frame is sitting on wheels. It's got an axle under it. She's coming together. Um, like I said, if you watched the earlier video where I got this frame, the old guy that was, you know, probably 75 or 80, it had been a frame that belonged to his father and had been sitting in the barn for as long as he could remember. So, big step forward. Now, get out the rear.